Hi my honeys, Erica here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special little video planned and it's all about using what you have in your home to elevate your space. These are some ideas that you could do today to change the look of your space for the better, make it look more expensive, and definitely tide you over if you're not able to renovate yet or you rent an apartment and you're not going to be spending a bunch of money to renovate. Here are some things that you can do to elevate the look of your space without breaking the bank and you can do them like right now, today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like if you want to see more videos like this. I would love to offer more tips and tricks like this to you guys if you want to see them. And yeah, let's hop right into the video. First things first, curtains. <laughs> When I walk into anybody's house, the first thing that I do is I see how high their curtains are hanging. This is just like annoying. It's a thing that I do. I don't say it to them, obviously, but I'm thinking it in my head. Hang your curtains as high as you possibly can to the ceiling and make sure they're long enough to at least kiss the floor. I like mine to sort of sweep the floor a little bit, but if you have kids or pets and you don't want your curtains to get in the way or get dusty or you don't want to be washing them all the time, I totally get that. I put curtains at my parents' house and they wanted it just, just barely touching the floor so that they'd be easier to keep clean. Totally get that. And I still think that look is going to be perfect. So if this is your floor here, make sure your curtains are just ever so slightly touching the floor. And I promise you that tall curtain look will totally open up your space. It'll make your space look more grand, larger. It makes your windows look bigger. If you just change that in every room in your house, it will make a huge difference. The other thing too with curtains is you wanna make sure you have enough curtains on the wall. So if you think about it, say you have a window that's 50 inches wide. Well, a 50 inch panel curtain will technically cover the width of the window, but you don't want it just flat out like that, right? You wanna have those nice pleats. So I would say if you have a window, multiply the width by three times, let's say, and that's how much you want hanging on each side of the window. So for instance, in my guest room, I have a really long 112 inch curtain rod, I think it is. I have four panels hanging on each side because I like that really cozy, pleated, neat, put together look. And another thing I would do to make your curtains look very tidy, and you know that look I'm talking about, that really beautiful pleated uniform look. What's gonna help you achieve that look is curtain rings. What you wanna do is clip those curtain rings about every, I would say four to five inches. You can get away with six inches or so on your curtain, right? And what that's gonna do is create a continuity of how the curtains are hung. And then when you go to hang your curtains, just make sure the rings, I'm looking at my curtains in my room right now, just make sure the rings are equidistant from each other and you will get that perfectly pleated curtain look all the way across without having to mess with um, any type of French pleat pins or anything like that. Just make sure that you get curtain rings and you clip them onto the curtain uniformly throughout your curtain. do to anyone's home to immediately elevate your space is add florals whether they're fresh or they're faux florals adding florals to your space livens it up it brings the outdoors in it makes your home feel inviting and welcoming even some plants honestly plants are great too they not only purify the air but they also give you something to take care of and you, it's fun to see them grow but it just adds so much joy to a space that you just can't replicate with any other piece of decor. I know this might seem obvious, but the third tip that I wanna offer you is painting. Paint a wall. If you don't like the color of a space, change it. Look for colors that bring you joy, that are deeply saturated, in finishes that you really enjoy. My guest room is in a flat paint finish, which is this really gorgeous matte look to it. And it's in this really gorgeous mauve moody tone that just 
brings me so much joy and peace every time I see it. I would suggest just going to your local hardware store and just sitting with the swatches for a long time, even bring some home and just see what you have an emotional response to and paint that wall. Paint isn't the cheapest thing, but it's also, you know, you can usually cover a room for one gallon of paint and they're anywhere between like 40 and $60 typically at the hardware store. And to me, $60 is worth it if it means that that color on my wall brings me joy every day. And if you're a renter, just make sure to check with your landlord first. And if they allow you to do that, they may tell you the paint color of the original color on the wall and you may have to paint it back at the end of your lease. We've had to do that a few times. It's totally fine. I, you know, I don't mind it if I know that paint color is going to bring me joy while I'm living in that place. And if I had to paint it back to the original color again, I will not be upset. But yeah, painting your room, you'd be surprised how much that really does something for any space in your home. Tip four is swapping out your pillow covers. We all love a decorative pillow and we all make jokes all the time about how our husbands like another decorative pillow. Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to buy 8,000 pillows. You can just keep the same ones you have and opt to buy cushion covers or pillow covers that fit your existing pillows. So that way you can swap them out seasonally, when you're just bored, or if you decide that you wanna change up the colors in the room a little bit. That's an easy and affordable way to get a whole new look on your sofa or on your bed. And honestly, I think H&M Home has the best pillow covers for the best price. I've been buying their pillow covers for a long time now. They also have cheap inserts as well if you wanna check that out. But this is just a way you can add more color and change things up in your home and even change for the seasons without spending a whole bunch of money and it will definitely create a different vibe in your space. Tip five might be also sort of obvious, but light candles around your home. I personally have migraines, so I make my own essential oil candles. Um, and then I also use unscented candles around my house. It's not always just about the scent, it's about that glow, that glow you get from candles. If you have kids or pets that you're worried about, get some LED candles. Amazon has super cheap ones. I know they have really affordable tea lights where you can get like, a 50 pack for like 20 bucks. Um, even ones that have remote controls as well. It just sets the mood in your space and it just makes you feel like you're at home and super cozy and it's minimal effort. And I'm telling you, when someone walks into your house and you have a bunch of candles lit, they notice, they pay attention. They say, oh, your space looks so cozy. You know, maybe there's a kitchen that's not fully renovated yet or maybe your bedroom has um, you know, a crack in the wall or something that you're working on. I'm telling you, you light a candle, it's like the fix all for everything because all people are gonna focus on is the glow of that candle. And I use that technique all the time in all of my reveals, my room makeovers, when I'm styling a space. It really just makes all the difference when you have that beautiful glow from a real or a faux candle. Everybody has a throw blanket in their house, right? We've all got them. They're usually stuffed away in some bin or they're rolled up in a ball on the couch. What I would do is walk to your sofa right now, grab your throw, pick it up from the middle and gently lay it across the largest part of your sofa, maybe across the back or across the chase if you have a sectional or even on a chair and then just scrunch a little bit with your hands to give it that really lived in look. I know it sounds so simple, but when I walk into somebody's home and they have a perfectly laid throw that looks slightly messy, but slightly styled at the same time on their couch or on a chair, I'm like, oh yeah, that person knows what they're doing. I don't know why, but I just feel like that's one of those things that can just elevate your space in two seconds. Sometimes updating your home only requires you to do one thing, and that's my last tip, swapping out artwork in your home. For whatever reason, I feel like if my space is looking a little tired or I wanna change up the vibe in there, or I just need some added interest, 
I head to Etsy, I find a print that I love, and then I have it printed out at FedEx office or Office Depot, and I replace the artwork and the frames around my home, and it just makes me feel like the space is freshened up and lively. Or you can also go to certain websites that allow you to download free art that are in the public domain where the owner is either no longer alive or able to stake a claim on any copyright for that artwork. You can download those prints for free and then go have it printed at FedEx office or Office Depot. Or if you want to, you can even buy canvas paper. If you just need an eight by 10, you can buy canvas paper on Amazon for relatively cheap and you can print your own artwork at home on your printer. That's an option as well. Or even just make an art piece. Take a thrifted piece of art or an old piece of art in a frame and do this spackle technique that I've done before where you just use wall spackle to paint on some texture and then just give it a coat of paint and then you have a textured piece of wall art and it costs you basically nothing to do. So swapping out artwork is also a great way to love your space where it's currently at. And that is it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. I definitely struggled at first when I started out being a home content creator about how to love my space where it's at and show off my space to other people when I wasn't exactly like happy with where it was. And I've learned these things along the way and they've really helped me through to get to the point where I am now. And I still apply them all the time in different ways and in different rooms throughout my house. And I always recommend them to other people. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you on my next video. Bye.